Welcome back to Worldwide Exchange. It's been an unusually strong wildfire season in the northeastern U.S. this fall, and especially here in the New York metro area. In the latest installment of our AI Impact series, our Julia Borston looks at how new technology is helping to fight the threat of wildfires. Wildfires continue to ravage the country, causing the loss of thousands of lives and billions of dollars of damage. This year, over 8 million acres have already burned, up from about 3 million acres burned last year and above the 5- and 10-year averages. Now, tech companies, public utilities, and government agencies are using new artificial intelligence tools to fight back. Pano AI is a startup that deploys cameras in high-risk areas, charging $50,000 per year for one of its camera stations. Its software detects smoke and fires at the earliest stages, sending notifications to local fire departments to drastically speed up response times. And it's just not practical to build thousands of lookout towers staffed with humans, but it's extremely practical to put up lightweight camera systems and monitor them 24-7 with powerful AI combined with human intelligence uh, to deliver the best of both worlds. Portland General Electric has become one of Pano AI's top customers. The utility company has deployed dozens of cameras, saying in some instances it's helped fire departments respond to fires as much as six hours faster. By notifying the fire agencies, because all that happens in real time, you get such better collaboration on helping minimize the impact of the fires, not just from a people and property perspective, but to, a, to, the, to the grid itself. Microsoft's AI for Good Lab has also been developing AI to detect fires and respond in their aftermath. In the wake of last year's Maui wildfires, the lab's AI was able to analyze satellite imagery to notify the Red Cross about local damage to best target response efforts. This type of information is very critical for them. Um, it's, some of these maps would have taken them weeks to, to do without these tools, and now you can get uh, information in, in hours. There are plenty of headwinds, an increase in the total number of fires because of climate change, and the country is struggling with a firefighter shortage. Plus, these tools can't necessarily prevent fires from starting. But AI can dramatically mitigate fires' damage, hopefully easing the burden on first responders. For Worldwide Exchange, I'm Julia Borston.